Hey guys, Michael from Copper vs Glass. Now, I'm kind of getting bored of Nova Launcher and I'm really sorry to say that. I know it's one of the most customizable launchers out there and millions of people use it and it's actually got a lot of views here on Copper vs Glass. However, today we're going to be looking at a brand new launcher called ASAP Launcher and it kind of takes things back to basics which is really refreshing and I kind of think it's for the best. So let's take a look. Now I want to start by saying that ASAP Launcher is completely free, however there are some paid features which are in this video. Now starting off with the clock widget at the top, as you can see here you can swipe down and swipe up to go from the time and date to a really handy widget which has the date in it, your settings for ASAP Launcher, system and also search and some weather information as well as well as a voice functionality button and to the left hand side then you do have the app drawer but we'll get into that a bit later. So something else that you'll notice is there is no app drawer icon, you can swipe up to get your applications, the top 5 are going to be customizable, the bottom 10 are going to be ones that are there that are frequently used, so again the more you use this launcher the more it's going to know exactly what you want to get to. Now I'm going to put a link just at the top here to get access to the Nexus launcher video which I've done recently, which again doesn't have any application draw. Now swiping left or right from the centre of the screen takes you to your widgets panel. Now for me on the left hand side I do have a weather widget with a 5 day forecast and a really awesome material design and again you can still access your applications from within in here as well do things like change it from Fahrenheit to Celsius and set your location and just in general it's a really nice and easy way to get access to the weather really quickly now swiping over to the right hand side I have a to-do list which again comes in really handy you can set different lists so here I've got shopping and also videos that I need to do you can add certain things to that as well and you can also share sort the list edit and also delete things from your list as well so it's really easy to add something so again there's just a plus button down the bottom here so for me I'm just going to type in I screen as an example you can change the color and also the priority of it as well and then all you need to do is just tap on one or a couple and then click on the tick and then you know they're done or you can click on the bin item if you don't want to continue with that particular list and this is fully customizable in the settings which we're going to take a look at in just a second now swiping over from the left edge of the screen as opposed to in the middle it's going to then bring up your application drawer and again this is very reminiscent of what you're going to get with action launcher and you can see you can scroll between and also use the side bar to go between particular letters and you can also type in for a search to get quick access to your applications which is really handy. Now swapping in from the right hand side gives you some quick settings so you've got battery percentage, brightness, rotation, Wi-Fi and again using the pencil button at the top here these are fully customizable. You can move them around or you can take away things that you're not necessarily going to need so for me storage, NSC and location I don't really use all that much so once I hit save you can see then that they're gone from that list and it's just a really easy way to get access to your quick settings without having to go into your notifications. Now jumping into the settings, the first thing that you're going to see are the themes. Now this is really awesome because you've got light and dark material design and a dynamic day and night cycle as well, but for me the best one for me to use is wallpaper. Now if you just tap and hold on the screen it gives you the option to go in and choose a different wallpaper. So for me I'm going to do that now which has a bit more red and blue in it as opposed to the orangey one that we had last time. And again when you go back you can see here that certain elements of the UI have changed like the widget at the top and also these sidebars and also the widgets to the side as well. So again it is really customizable. Yes I know this is a bit like Action Launcher 3. However for me it does have a really clean interface which is kind of the whole purpose of ASAP Launcher if you're asking my opinion. Now you can change things individually, so for me the widget at the top of the screen I prefer to have that looking white and again you can see here it's really easy to go in and change that. So in terms of the customizability, you've got some really nice options. Now you've also got the look and feel section and in here you can change your icon pack for whatever icon pack you want to be using and you can see that it changes it perfectly fine in both the dock at the bottom and the side pull out bar to get access to your applications as well. So again it just adds another layer of customizability to the launcher itself. Also in the same menu for look and feel you've also got unread counts so again much like you get on iOS there'll be a little icon to say if you've got any unread emails and things. Now you do need to allow some access for this however it does come in really handy and it's something that I use quite regularly. You can also change things like the screen orientation, show or hide the system bar at the top and also show or hide the clock from the top widget. Now at the start of the video I was swiping up and down on that widget and again if you just turn off show clock when you go back you can see then that, that is going to change. 
change and again down the bottom on the gmail icon you can see an example of what the unread icon looks like as well and again this does actually come in quite handy if sometimes you're missing notifications from your lock screen but i personally prefer to have the clock showing so that's the option that i'm going to have next up then you've got cards and these are the widgets that i mentioned on the home screen as you can see here you've got about five or so to choose from not including the home screen so i would just turn on the calendar and then click save and close if i swipe across you can see that i can get access to my calendar swipe again gets me back to that list so again it's a really easy way to get access to your events and your calendar and it works exactly the same as you'd expect it to clicking on the plus button down the bottom of the screen allows you to actually add a new event and it opens up google calendar straight away so you've got all the really nice granular control that comes with adding an event into google calendar but you can do it straight from a widget basically just to the right of your home screen and i'm sure eventually they're going to add third party widgets so that's going to be really awesome too so this has been a pretty in-depth video into asap launcher and again if you guys want to get some more information about the launcher itself i'm going to have it linked in the description down below so you guys can download it for yourself now as you can see here it's not as popular as something like nova launcher asap launcher has about 100,000 downloads whereas nova launcher is sitting at 1 million and that's just for the paid one the free version is sat at around 10 million at the moment on the play store so asap launcher does have a while to go before it's up there with nova launcher but in terms of features that it can offer and just in general the ease of use i think it is definitely going to get there now if you're looking for a launcher that is really simplistic and doesn't really need a lot of tinkering and just kind of works and looks good on a lot of devices then asap launcher is definitely the way to go in my opinion now as i mentioned there is a completely free version however a lot of the features that we've looked at today aren't going to be included so i would definitely just go for the paid version and just give the developers a bit of cash really to add new features make the application better because at the end of the day they're not going to be able to do something like that without getting paid and a free version doesn't really allow them to do that so guys definitely check out this application and it is going to be linked in the description down below so you guys can download it and if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to give it a thumbs up just down below there it does help out a bunch and if you guys want to get some more great content from copper versus glass whether it's launchers phone reviews app reviews whatever it's going to be then be sure to hit that subscribe button just down below now if you've got any questions about this particular launcher or if you know of another launcher that you want me to have a look at then hit me up in the comments section or the best place is actually on twitter at copper versus glass so thanks very much for watching guys i'm michael from copper versus glass and i will catch you guys in the next video